Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick demo of my new EQ pedal with my um, Vox amp. So I have it hooked up to the front of the Vox amp. Um, someone told me about EQ pedals and how they can really help your amp tone. So this is without the EQ pedal activated. So that's without it. Now when I activate it, and I have it in a, um, I'm testing out different shapes. So I have it in this shape right here, which is the frown shape that is supposed to be traditional. So you really hear a difference. I wasn't hearing a difference on my PB amp, but someone told me two things. Turn this up, volume up on the pedal, and the gain up, and I'll see what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn that up. Now if I play another one, <laughs> Now let's turn it off. So you can hear it seems to clean it up quite a bit. Um, and then if we try a different configuration, so we have the frowns here. Turn down the clipping. We try the opposite, a V shape. Increase these. Decrease the 4K, 8K. EQ pedals are very tricky to get dialed in correctly. Um, and there's not a lot of documentation on them, I found. So it's a lot of it by experimentation. So here, you have kind of like a V shape, I guess you could say. Someone told me to try a V shape. And also, you can also try them in your signal chain, the front of the amp after your pedals. Or you can have them in the effects loop. So it just depends on what you're trying to achieve here. There we go, I'll turn the volume up. So again, this is no EQ pedal. Now let's see what this does. I'm gonna try the V shape. So it seems to hit more of the bassy stuff. So I, because I increased the 31.25 frequencies and the 62, 
and I decreased the mids. So you're hearing more of the basses, but I don't want to do that. So that's interesting. So that's that's the two different shapes. And if we try another one, so we, we turn this off again, and we try a different shape. So let's try kind of like a little. Add some more of the high frequencies and increase the gain and the volume. So you try this shape, see what it does. This is without the pedal. Now, my guitar is out of tune. I just want to see the tone difference um, with the pedal. That's without it, and this would be this. That's interesting. So let's try another setting. Turn the EQ pedal off. And I just have it connected to my cheap Vox practice amp. Um, and increase the volume. And increase the gain. Let me try, let's see, I want to try this kind of a, a staggered frown shape, a little different though. I completely cut out the lows. Add a lot of boost at the top. 501k. So this is a 10 band EQ. This has 10 bands. So I would imagine you'd want to kind of have a frown shape, kind of like a circle, like a parabola shape. So move it here. So here. Cool. All right. Let's see how this sounds. This is without the pedal. Try it with it. We have the volume and gain turned up. Oh wow, that's clipping my amp. Right. Hear that? It's clipping my amp. So something come. Kind of... All right, let's turn these down. Something calm, but this is good test to see what causes it to clip. So if I go here, increase these gradually. See, you're bringing something up. I can hear the volume. See, I do hear a difference. Some of these frequencies are impacted more than others. So 
the reason why it's blinking is because it's clipping. I do hear a difference in improvement in the sound. Now if I do on my amp setting, I turn down the gain and the tone, see what it does. So I turned the gain down on my amp. I'm gonna increase the volume and gain on this. And I'm gonna reshape it. Because I turned down the gain on my amp. Because it was clipping. So let's see if I can get this uh, more of the classic uh, frown shape that metal is supposed to use. I'm surprised like MXR doesn't put like a booklet that shows you some sample amp settings in their in their uh, manual you'd think they would do that to help newbies get started so all right I cut the 62 31 point two five frequencies down and then increase the others so that's clipping so if I turn the gain down I turn the gain up on my amp Now, if we use it, turn a guitar down, we disengage it and see what it does. Here we have it not engaged. So, I'm just getting started with this. I'm going to do some more testing. I'll do another video with my PB6505. Um, I'll probably do it on the front of the amp because it seems to work better than the effects loop. Anyways, stay tuned. Cheers.